Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. In um, today's video I'm going to be talking about um, part of our back to school um, math series, lessons to get ahead. So this uh, today's video is going to be about division. So division, th year three and four division. Well in year three and four the children should be starting to learn about dividing three and four digit numbers. Okay so here you can see um, how they might learn this in the first instance. So you can see there's a um, table here, place value chart, and we've got a number made four times. Now the number is 844, and this symbol here, division in its most basic form, means to share. So here you can see that 844 has been shared out equally into four groups because we're sharing it into four. So how much have we got in each one of these groups? Well, we've got 200. We've got 10, um, 110, and we've got 11. So that will be 211. And then if we were to do this sum, okay, 211, we've got four lots of 211, because four lots of 211 is 844, and then 844, therefore, divided by four, shared into four equal groups would give you 211. So this is the first kind of way that the children will be introduced to dividing in year three and four, and therefore our answer is 211. But they may also have a look at doing it different ways as well. So this approach to teaching is a mastery approach, which gets the children to have a real depth of understanding when it comes to things like division. This is using a part, 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 whole model. And here you can see that this time they've, div uh, they've partitioned, which means to split into different parts, the number 844 into hundreds, tens and ones um, in a similar way but just not with counters and this time we're going to divide each part by four so 800 divided by four is 200 and 40 divided by four is 10 and four divided by four is one meaning that 844 divided by four if we do it in this method we end up with the exact same answer we've got 200 plus 10 plus one, which gives us a final answer of 211. So the children will be shown various different ways of dividing and presenting it in different ways as well to really give them a depth of understanding of what's happening. Finally, they'll move on to um, a short division method. And I'm gonna show you how you might use this method to solve these sums. So let's take the first one. Um, it's also known as the bus stop method. Um, so we've got 525 divided by 5. Now the large number goes underneath the bus stop and the small number outside the bus stop in the rain, unfortunately. So once we've set it up like this, we then want the children will then ask how many fives go into 5? 1. How many fives go into 2? Um, we can't do that, so we're going to do how many fives go into 25. So we put a 0 there because fives don't go into 2. And what we say is we join these two numbers up, this being 2 tens, which is 20, and that being 5 1. So how many 5s and 25? 5 10, 15 20, 25. There are 5, and that would give us our final answer. 525 divided by 5 is 105. Let's try B now. So B, once again, same strategy. We're going to put the large number 636 under the bus stop, and then 6 is going to go on the outside. 6 into 6 goes once. How many 6s in 3 we can't do? So what we say to the children is that you're then going to join these two parts together. How many 6s into 36? Should be fairly straightforward if we know our 6 times table. It's going to be 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. So it's going in 6 times, giving us an answer of 106. And you might notice a pattern here. Um, with these two, you can see that the answers are similar, just one greater. So let's have a quick look at um, C and D now. So C, we've got 840, which is our large number underneath the bus stop, divided by 8. Okay, so this time, does 8 go into 8? Yes, it does once. How many times does 8 go into 4? It doesn't. But how many times does it go into 40? It goes in 5 times giving us a final answer of 105. Well, 105 times 8, if we do the inverse, will be 840. 
And finally, D, we've got 903 divided by 3. We'll probably see what's going to happen here. How many 3s in 9? We've got 3. How many 3s in 0? There are no 3s in 0. How many 3s in 3? There are 1. So 903 divided by 3 is 301. Now, with all of these sums, you'll notice that there were no remainders. And we can get remainders when we're doing division in this way. So let's have a look at this one. Same method, same strategy, bus stop. So we're going to put the big number underneath, 169. And we're going to have the smaller number on the outside. So how many fours go into one? This time we can't do that, so we're going to put a zero. How many fours in 16? Well, 16 um, divided by four is going to be four. So it's four times four is 16, so four. And how many fours in nine now? Well, um, there isn't because nine is not in the four times table. So what's the closest that we can get to nine? Four, eight. So it goes in twice to put the two down there. But we're going to have one left over because if it goes into four, if all goes into nine twice, that's eight. But there's going to be one left over. So that then becomes our remainder. So the answer, the correct answer, to this one will be 42 remainder one. And that's how you can see you can end up with remainders in division as well. So have a look at these questions, A, B, C, and D, and have a go at home now. Um, complete them in the same way that I've done using the bus stop method, but watch out for remainders, particularly with, with C and D, um, well, not C, sorry, with B and D. Um, there may be more than one place where you need to use a remainder. So pause the video here and have a go. Okay, how did you get on? So I'm just going to reveal the answers to you now. Um, A and C did not have remainders. The answer was 43 and 216. However, B and D did have remainders. And you can see how I've worked the answers out underneath. So I did how many fives in six? There was one with a remainder of one. So then how many fives in 12? There were two with a remainder of two. So the two goes there. How many fives in 23? There were four fives in 23 with a remainder of three. With this one, how many threes in eight? There were two, because we had two threes are six with a remainder of two. How many threes in 22? There were seven with a remainder of one. And how many threes in 14? There was actually three, six, nine, 12, four, but with a remainder of two left over. So just notice here how you remainders aren't just on the final number. They can come at any point within the sum that you're solving. Okay. Um, just a quick problem for you to have a think about. So when the children can successfully do the method, they might be given a problem to deepen their understanding and knowledge again. So here, Eva has a piece of ribbon. The ribbon is 839 centimetres long. That's important. I'll underline that. Work out how much ribbon will be left over. So left over means there's going to be a remainder here. If she cut it into four equal pieces, which means we're dividing 839 divided by four, Six equal pieces will be 839 divided by 6, and eight equal pieces, pieces will be 839 divided by 8. So pause the video here, see how you get on with that one, but there will be remainders for each of those questions. So looking at it now, so I've just set it up here, you can see. So 4 into 8 goes twice. 4 into 3 doesn't go. 4 into 39. Uh, 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times 6 is 24. Four sevens are 28, four eights are 32, four times nine is 36, four times 10 is 40. So it's going to have to go in um, nine times. Okay, four nines are 36 with a remainder of three. So that means there'll be three centimeters left over for this first one. Six into eight goes once with a remainder of two. Six into 23, six. 12, 18, 24. So it's only going to go in three times, but with a remainder of, so 20, so 18, two will be 20 and three will be remainder five, six into 59. So we're gonna have six times eight is 48, six times 10 is 60. So six nines are 54. So it's going to go in nine times with a remainder of 54, um, with a remainder of 5, which is the difference between 54 and 59. 
So there is five centimeters with that one, um, which will be left over. And this one, eight into eight goes once. Eight into three doesn't go. Eight into 39. Well, four eights are 32 and five eights are 40. So it's going to be 32. So it's going in four times, but with a remainder of what's the difference between 32 and 39? It's going to be seven. 104 remainder seven. So in this one, there are seven centimeters left over. So that's how the children would be taught division. And that would be the expectation for the end of year four to be able to divide a three digit number by a one digit number with remainders. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please subscribe to the channel for more videos on primary education and also hit the like button if you found the video helpful. Okay, see you in the next one.